Well, what is it? What does it do? What does it do? Yeah. It makes coffee. And, uh, that. Uh, hello. Take out the dog. That's my dog. He admit it's yours. He's a just caught one of the arrow in its ass. Okay. One day we'll shoot it and see what it does. And how long did that take to make? Because of the bad winter we had, it six months, over a year basically. We had a really bad winter, it couldn't work. Mind you, I was making three others at the same time, so. Now your wife will let you back in the house? Yeah. With good luck. So all you could do now is wait for Gary to come to shoot it. Okay, this is this is my latest match target crossbow. We machined it from solid aluminum stock. So it's in two parts. The reason for that being is I wanted to put the butt in a five degree offset. The reason for that is so that when you're sighting your eye is directly behind the bolt hook, which makes it a little easier. We had it anodized in bronze and black as you can see. The butt hook is a copy of uh, the Anschutz target rifle. The cheek piece is fully adjustable up and down and side to side and, and rocks back and forth. But it will lock. The wood, the three pieces, is Arbutus burl. It's quite rare. And these are stabilizers. They are not a tripod. You do not shoot this crossbow off of a tripod. It's a freestanding crossbow. The bow weight for the prod weight is 95 pounds at 14 years old each. It shoots a bolt which is 14 and 3 quarter inches in length and weighs 362 grains. The hand piece, rear hand grip, is adjustable left and right and you can lock it at any point, not at any angle but this adjusts like this way and that way. This is so you've got your hand in the most comfortable position. This finger pull is also adjustable. It's a three lever lever trigger. Very, very sensitive. 
bulk lip is fully adjustable for downward pressure. Okay, the front hand grip is also adjustable left and right and up and down. You will give the dreaded shooting triangle. This piece is adjustable in and out and this piece rests against your body to give you another anchor point. So you can get your body in the same position each time you shoot. The rear sight is adjustable only in the left and right. Okay, the front sight is, what is also adjustable left and right on a micrometer thread and up and down. And this is where you adjust your range from, is your front sight. It weighs 16 and a half pounds in the hand. Every, every Every part of this was made in the workshop, other than the screws. The prod is, is made from bamboo and botas. Wait till you see my next one. I've already designed another one, which would be a little more. Where are all this crud coming from? This is a bow I built out of scrap in the workshop. As you can notice, half of the stuff doesn't match simply because they were for different bows and it didn't work out on that bow so it went into the scrap box. So I thought the hell with it. I'll just modify it and make use of it and that's what I did. And this is what I came up with. The usual trigger mechanism. Anyway, this, this particular bow was made out of scrap pieces around the workshop simply because, uh, you know, when you're building a lot of bows, you get pieces that don't quite, quite work out and chuck it in the scrap box and start again. So I decided to see if I could build a bow out of the scrap. And this is what I come up with. Black walnut stock. The bow is 95 pounds as normal, 14 and a half inches. It shoots a... Um, 2115 char. I haven't made the front sight yet. And this is an Anschutz rear sight, but that's not going to stay on there. That's just to make it look good. The Anschutz sight is for my next new crossbow that I'm going to be building.